All right, welcome. This is the Hype.TV. I'm Franco Finn for CBSSF.com. And today we have a special guest in the studios, the PlayStation Studios, which is very appropriate for this gal who I'm going to introduce here. This is Naomi Kyle. She is the host of The Daily Fix on IGN. You're all about video games. You're a video game girl, and you have definitely seen her. If you've played a video game or two, and you've been on the IGN website, you've seen her on the Daily Fix, because she gives updates every day about this crazy industry, yeah. video games, which is growing, right? Yeah, it's, it's a huge industry right now. It's just popular. Everything is about gaming or getting gaming into stuff, whether it's movies or pop culture. It's, it's, a lot, it's fun. I mean, who doesn't like playing games? Exactly, opinion. right? We're all big kids, and We're all big kids. you're just keeping yeah. it going right yeah. here as an adult, right? Yeah, exactly. And let's talk about that real quick. I mean, how appropriate. First off, we're at the PlayStation Lounge <laughs> here at CBS in San Francisco, so hey, how appropriate, right? Yeah. Uh, but talk, talk about your humble roots. Now, you come from a small town. Tell us where you're from, and how did you get into video gaming and, you know, to the screen, really? Well, it was a long journey, and I could get into the whole details of it, but I think, it, yeah, it started out, I was living in St. Agathas, really very, like, nobody knows what this town is. Like, no, Real no small. One knows. Really small. Like, it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I always just say I'm from Montreal, which, if you know Quebec or, like, Canada at all, it's, you know. Parlez-vous français? Oui, je parle français. Moi, je parle français aussi. Oh, ben. Uh, what? Look, that's that's a whole other topic in itself. See, we've already we've already just bonded right there. That's amazing. Holy. Well, we'll have to talk about that somewhere down the road. But let's talk about that little town near Montreal. I yes. guess. Yes. Uh, small town. How Very many people? Uh, I'd say about five thousand. I'd have oh. to Wikipedia it. It's might, it might be more now, but yeah, I grew up there. I went to school there. My whole life was based out of that town, and then I moved to the city, got into modeling, did some some small like TV auditions, but I never got the role. And but I was always curious, and I always wanted to know like how do you get on camera? And my agent one day just like sent me off to uh, this actually one of the biggest auditions I'd ever been on, which was like this one-year contract with this video game wow. designer, and I was uh, going to host their monthly podcast, video podcast, mm -hmm. and I'd never done anything like it before. Like, it was a whole new world to me, but I knew about games because I had grown up uh, just with consoles all my life. Um, my first console was the PlayStation 1. Mm -hmm. uh, I started off playing with, you know, at my games, my friends' places, and then moved on to have my own console and my brothers were also into it so it was just like a cool thing that I really got into and wow. Crash Bandicoot other a bunch of other games and would go to the rental store and get my own games and stuff but yeah um, basically from that point on I guess with Gameloft uh, which is the name of the developer I started working for uh, IGN had eyes on me and they decided to get me to audition mm -hmm. for their role uh, their new like hosting position that had just opened up and I went in and I, I got it and and they're like, we're flying you down to San Francisco. And, and there it is. And that's it. From Canada to San Francisco. I mean, you've got thousands of followers. We'll get into that a little bit later here. But you, I mean, the gaming world is, is blown up. And, and talk about some of the things. We want to know about you because we're catching you right now at a very opportune time because yes. you're about to blow up. And we're going to get into some of these things and some rumors that I'm hearing about. So you ready for this? I am. Okay. Ready. We're going to interview here Naomi Kyle. We're going to get all the juicy stuff. Uh, first off, as, as, as we're building up, you know, um, kind of what you've been doing, uh, talk about BAFTA. You're, you've, you're working on a project with that, and, and explain that real briefly. Well, I found out about BAFTA that they, um, something about Prince Harry or one of the princes getting in on this game division, and I was super intrigued, and so I, I inquired about it with them to see what, what I could do for them. And it's a really cool initiative. It's about getting young gamers into the gaming industry, you know, to start making games. And uh, they they were like, hey, we have this video, we want to start promoting this whole division, and uh, I'm like, hey, I will do it, and started showing support on behalf of, you know, my brand, and yeah, everything, everything from here on out has been just like, helping them in any way possible because it's just a really cool concept. Well, that's just one thing, you know, just doing things out there for, for that, you know, doing some things in the community, I'm sure. But I'm hearing there's a, a documentary in place, Zach Penn working on a documentary about 
Atari. Who does not love Atari? I mean, that is like the, the core of video games. You know, where it all started. And where it all started. And then uh, an E.T. project um, yeah. in New Mexico. Talk about that. Yeah, I went down in New Mexico and I shot a documentary with Zach Penn. And we, uh, I can't say much about it just yet, but it was a really fun shoot. And I was all the way in the middle of nowhere uh, wow. digging up some stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for everyone to see it because it's going to be really fun. Yeah. A fun documentary. I'm looking for someone to fix my old Atari because I, I, I've, I've busted that thing so many times and I'm like maybe you could help me out on the road I can tell yeah okay. I, I have like I still have it though so then bring it on over I'm gonna get it fixed it's like totally archaic it's like it belongs in a museum what I think what games do you have on it oh gosh you're talking about some old school stuff old school stuff you, you probably want, oh my gosh <laughs> I do had I had ET. I had uh, some uh, crazy. Uh, what was that one with the with the jungle guy? He's going on from uh, I forgot. He, it's like a jungle something or other. He, he's jumping from rope to rope. Donkey Kong. No, I, I did have Donkey Kong. I even had Coleco in television. Oh I had all God. that stuff. You are. But I, I gotta dig way You're back. an old school gamer. I am guy. old school gamer. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Shh. But let's talk about this. Uh, uh, also, like you're also getting into music because. Um, Jason Brock, who some of you are familiar with yeah. on X Factor, you're working on a, another project with him. I mean, you've got all sorts of projects. Why yeah. music and what's up with Jason Brock? Well, Jason Brock's a really cool guy. I'll tell you more about him in just a sec. But yeah, I started liking music from a young age. I wanted to do singing growing up, but I never really got lessons or anything. Studied it for about a year. Um, and then just worked at a music store for four years. So I've always been in that world. And so when I met Jason, uh, and I found out that he was on X Factor, and he has this crazy history from like coming from a small town and uh, just struggling his whole life to like make his way and, and become a singer. Um, I mean, it was just fascinating to me, and then wow. I got asked to do this project, this documentary for him, and I mean, for me, it's just every little step making my way in this industry, you know, whether it's producing or acting or being involved in music and singing with Jason or whatever, it's, it's, all, it's all part of the big picture, and I think just wow. meeting Jason and being part of this project is really cool. And talk about big picture, I mean, we've already established that, okay, you're definitely, a lot of people know you in the video game world, uh, you're, you're doing things with music projects with Jason Brock, uh, you've got a documentary, Zach Penn, films. We're talking big picture here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to play a little little game with you here. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, a little, little word association. If I say, hmm, if I heard that uh, there's something about Fantastic Four that I was looking up when I was researching, is there some kind of affiliation with Fantastic Four? Uh, so where do you get this information? I've got my sources. Okay. I'm looking okay. online. I'm looking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I actually, so J I met with Josh Trank, who is the director of the right. new Fantastic Four reboot films, and he's a really cool guy, and that's pretty much all I can say. Oh, mom's a word, huh? <laughs> yeah. What can I do to get this out of you? Yeah, you'll just have to wait and see. What if yeah. I bribe you with some video games or something like that? I'll get you whatever we'll you need. We'll work something out. We'll okay, work all something. right, all right. <laughs> so fantastic. That's pretty huge there. Yeah. And uh, what about uh, if I say Luke Wilson? See, I'm doing, I, did, I did my homework. Luke Wilson in an upcoming film? Yeah. Anything about that? Yeah, there's, uh, I mean, I was given the opportunity to read for a role in one of his upcoming projects. So more on that. Check my IMDb page if ever, you know. A role. Is it any other role? Is it a leading role? Oh, it's it's a big role. It's a I'm big prying, role. as you yeah. can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of the female roles. In the so it's under wraps here. So yeah. maybe we'll get that next time here. But uh, your star is definitely rising, and we appreciate you taking the time uh, to talk with us because, you know, we want to catch, you know, the, the budding Hollywood stars before they really blow up. And you've already got this star that's already rising. Let's talk about some other things uh, that, you know, a lot of people can see you at. Uh, I just went to WonderCon, and uh -huh. I know that you are huge in, in the cons, yes. Wonder and Comic. Wonder and comic, uh, E3, all the cons. I go, well, E3 is more of an expo, but mm. yeah, I try to go to as many conventions as I can. Um, I've been to Dubai for a few, and uh, just, yeah. The thing Dubai, about. You went to Dubai? I did go to Dubai. Whew. Yeah. Godly. Yeah. Who's really? booking? Okay, well, I'll get into who's booking you with this because you've got a, quite a palette. But talk about real quick the the com the, the, the Comic Con you're going to be coming to yes. uh, in San Diego. Yes, Comic Con San Diego. It's going to be huge. I'm going to be attending. I, I love going to conventions. Mm. Um, for me, I, I don't necessarily go there. I know people like to do the whole cosplay thing. I haven't done it yet, but I'm in talks to maybe do it this year. Stay tuned for more. 
Stay tuned for more. Well, I might go ahead and see you over there because uh, I'm thinking about going for the first time. But yeah, let's okay. talk. I mean, I'm wondering who is juggling all this stuff for you. We've got some projects, documentaries, music projects. You're doing the video game thing, some film rumors here. I mean, there's got to be a manager that's got your time and that's getting you some of these gigs. Yeah. Tell us. Well, Memo McAlpin, really cool guy. Memo McAlpin. I, I actually know who he is. You uh, do? Yes, I've heard a lot about him, and he's actually, you know, I've got a lot of friends in L.A. and Hollywood, and uh, I hear he's kind of making a lot of noise, and seems like he's getting you gigs. He's certainly helping me out. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was going to say. Well, I mean, like, what else can you not do? I mean, if, if what more can you want, I guess? I mean... What's your ideal goal? What's your ideal goal, Naomi? My ideal goal is to establish myself in the, in the entertainment industry as much as possible. Do producing, do acting, do it all, basically. I mean, I'm, I love it all. The arts, it's, it's always been a passion of mine. So your, your brand is, is quite amazing, though, here. And, and, there's, and talk about the followers and the brand, because yeah. that really, it, we're in social media. That, that is so huge now. How many followers do you have? Well, to co combined, it's a lot. But I'll just tell you, break. I'll break it down for you. So Twitter, I have 100K. Yeah. Wait, 100K. 110, 110K now. And uh, that's on Twitter. Facebook, I'm at 60K. Um, let's see here. Instagram, I'm at 20, almost on 30K, actually. I'm at 29. And uh, yeah, just, I, I love social media. It's kind of the world I'm in. I love the, inter the internets. You know? Well, tell us all about it. You could be 101K with me. I'm going to follow you on Twitter and Instagram okay. and all that. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so at Naomi Kyle on Twitter, Facebook slash Naomi Kyle fans, and Instagram, the Naomi Kyle. The Naomi Kyle, the one and only, and the website that, that everyone could find uh, all your work yeah. and all the great things? Everything, uh, NaomiKyle.com and IGN.com. And IGN.com. Well, thank you so much. Naomi Kyle, the one and only. Follow her on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. You'll see her on IGN. You'll see her in, in movies, hopefully very soon, and a whole lot more. This is the Naomi Kyle sitting with us here on TheHype.TV for CBSSF.com. I'm Franco Finn. We'll see you next time. Can I get a little whoop whoop? Whoop, whoop.